Yes, Ghana. <laughs> Year of return. Akwaba, Amaraba. Welcome. Yejina Eye Kotoka International Airport. Eye Terminal 3. Ene aha, ena yede atu. Eni jedi yanko mo kikwe jume di ebro. Nase wa wunim. Simply Tatcha. Simply Tatcha. Simply Tatcha. Eye... Big brother Niger housemate Bakwa. Oji Dimpa Ewafi Big Brother um, Niger na Oba Ghana. And ne any da idika on a bra boom oba gana. Nanso e gana ni adintia. And ne ye de atu e free a ye kutuka international airport. Ena ye de bro. Na ye de gana ni awa sansu ye Nigeria niya. Ube pie a ye big brother Niger this year season. Ena ye neno e babe kukwen e mkomo. Iti ye mwa kwa ba sa fei e na duwe fidi eno atu UTV ya. Oshe the award winning Ghana's best number one television in Ghana. Vat upe the best TV entertainment show at e ya tu. Midi e de abeku agri santana. Iti ye chen the historic welcome or arrival of Simply Tatcha. Simply Tatcha. Ha ha ha. No leave, no transfer. No leave, no transfer. It is um your better trade and come up. Na ye da ye your sponsors and so I saw you. Ya bet that Ghana Airport Company Limited for us. Ya bet that a ye national security for us. Ya bet that a ye Ghana police service for us. Now face so ya da a ye travel and tour operators. I feel I said I can see uncle my papa, Dr. Father Dick saying, nah, and a Jume would have come far by. Or therefore, Nankasa, Dr. Osekwa, but despite. Your program director, Ura Roger Kote. And I share a total name in a meeting the Abeku Agri Santana, Yenda, a year your producers, Anita Josephine, and you'll be a fake technical crew in a domina assay, a fake at the Asada Ebema Hero Star Limousine, and a fake so a year Labadi Beach Hotel, and the Africa World Airlines touching Africa, touching the world, and a Labadi Beach Hotel. Oh, my Roma. And uh, you know, you are uh, simply touch her. Yes, you didn't know about Ghana. Now, obey what you did. So, we Nigeria. Now, what you did with Nigeria, pa. Now, what you did with Africa. Let's just say, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, sabi, 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 uh, oh, dimu ye, pa. And you see, and you're man, it's a historic welcome. Already, when you know, when you say, I feel way, a 400 years, sir. You did a bit before a fee Ghana, a call, a year, and quasumu. Into your friend, year of return. Ubiye bagana. I want to know about bagana. Na edi into no more bagana. Ghana said they are how we are our hospitality. Ye do your name, your mamre. Said they ye don't you pa. Any asumbi a ye wo ome munti. Ena how who of for be brave eba Ghana afi. Ye ni aba simply toucha. Enche biya. Ibe shi ano ne ne na kikim komo. Ye nji krato eba ya tuazo. Atu. Yemu akwaba yada sujina eye kutuka international airport terminal 3. Ye chen eye ye niyaba eye simply toucha. No leave! No leave! No leave! No leave! No leave! Okay, so... Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, there you go.
simply touch up in Nigeria Baba Kaya it's a new who are boating and don't we be here no no na effect I didn't Tina you need to simply touch up when crying is simply touch up I told you my dear age media you the celebrity you know achievers performers especially influencers in our show business industry and arguably uh, simply Tasha uh, since she appeared in Big Brother Niger you know took the whole continent by storm you know her eloquence her confidence and that hair you understand yeah so as part of the year of return that a lot of the aspirants are coming back to Ghana simply Tasha is also partly Ghanaian so why not and that is why we took it upon ourselves to invite her to give us this historic visit africa world airlines touching africa touching the world i think so labadi beach hotel and on my cp hero star limousine services and of course your number one media empire in ghana despite media utv peace fm okay fm hello fm neat fm peace fm online or my daruma and uh you may be ever so right so my name is abeku agri santana a two comes on your screen mondays at 1 p.m and which is 2 p.m in nigeria 1 p.m in ghana we are on dstv channel 360 so if you're watching in nigeria 2 p.m on monday you can watch this interview it comes on a saturday 5 p.m which is saturday 6 p.m in nigeria on the same dstv channel 360 this is a royal ride this is a historic visit this is an amazing awesome you know experience for simply to see her fans the the, the, the the fan base the titans you know crazy craving for her it was so awesome now we're in the limousine we're going to have our chat so once again welcome simply thank you no thank leave you. no transfer ah, <laughs> we ah, 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 you're <laughs> so you're so fabulous you gorgeous you're oh amazing you are you're a very strong woman Thank Tell you. us about yourself. Who is Simply Tasha? Your origin, who are your parents, who are your siblings? We understand that your mom comes from Ghana. And uh, Do you have siblings in Ghana? No, I don't have siblings in Ghana. So tell us about Simply Tasha. Who is Simply Tasha? Um, Simply Tasha is a uh, 23 years old Nigerian, partly Ghanaian. Um, hard workers, partainers young strong bold and most importantly african all right so tell us about your level of education yes i studied sociology in school. sociology yeah graduated in 2016. which school ignatius at university of education right in potapa city river state wonderful so who are your siblings um i have my younger sister success akide i have my older brother Dominic and I have a, a very little sister, Kimora. She's so pretty and little. So all together, I have two sisters and one older brother. Mm. Um. So we got to know Simply Tasha from Big Brother Niger, but before going to the the reality Hello. show, you were very popular. <laughs> you were popular on social media. What actually, you know, um, led you, prompted you to join this um, biggest reality show in Nigeria? Um, like I said, it's the biggest reality show in Africa, basically, and I needed a platform to showcase myself to the world. Was it a dream? 
Um, yeah, it was a dream. It was a dream. And um, I could remember watching it in 2017 and I would be like, oh my God, this is so, this is such a huge platform. I just want to go in there, sign a thing that, you know when you go to class and sign a thing that and you're out. You know that type of people to like, go in there, let it just be tattered within the house and then I'm out. And it came to reality in 2019 and so far so good. It's been an amazing journey. It has been, the platform is incredible. Okay, we'll come to um, Big Brother Niger and all that <laughs> happening in there. But um, you were partly Ghanaian, but you've never visited Ghana. This is your uh, first time. First time in Ghana. Why? Really excited. Why should it take you that long? Um, I've always wanted to be in Ghana, but at the right time. At the right time. Um, I lost my mom while I was in school. And being here just brings memories of her, really. So I needed to be here at the right time, and this is just the right time. Sorry for bringing that um, yeah. in memory, but um, was the your mom Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but was your mom buried in Nigeria or in Ghana? Nigeria. In Nigeria. Yeah. Okay. So what about your siblings? Have they also been to Ghana before? My younger sister has been in Ghana last year, twenty eighteen. Okay. She does have friends here, funny enough. Yeah. She all right so after school 2016 what have you been uh, doing before joining the big brother um basically i've been doing makeup makeup artistry i was a makeup artist and um, a hairstylist as, as well so all together a beautician everything beauty related but after the house it's like um uh, i wish i could go back or i can't go back so basically i also make up on myself but after the house i had a makeup studio so I did do makeup on clients and then meet as well. And also did tutorials. So I have a couple of students that I did train. So where were you studio. trained? Um, in the makeup I'm artistry? self -taught. You taught yourself? Yeah, self-taught. Oh. Again. But your makeup is looking beautiful. Thank you. Trust me. And you did this yourself? Thank you. You did it yourself? I did this morning. So early in the morning. <laughs> we had to cut the price the, the first time. Wow, great. Thank now, you. let's go into uh, Big Brother Niger. That is where, you know, the springboard that brought you to the whole world. You are the first uh, housemate to be verified on social media. How does that feel? What did you do right? Uh, I think it has to be what did my team and the titans do right? Because <laughs> I was in the house and then I came out and boom, I'm verified. I was like, oh wow, are you serious? And then next thing I'm getting verified on Twitter as well. I don't know why I did. All thanks to the Titans, really, and my team. You call your fan base Titans. <laughs> Why Titans? I came out. Why Titans? Because <laughs> they're strong, resilient. They are a movement. You you just cannot come for simply that. They got my back any day, any time, every day. They are incredible. Even before Big Brother Niger, like I said, you were very active on social media. Yes. And some social media pundits referred to you as Olo Show um, in, in, in other parlance, prostitute. Why? Um, you know you can control how people think or what they say. It's social media, everything you put out gets to people. So everybody has the right to comment whatever they want to comment. But most importantly, and me, and I know myself, so how do you respond or react to such um, you know shading or you know allegations uh it's what comes with being a public figure everybody kind of like you you have fans and you have haters so all together um all together everybody has what to say everybody must say something but, but, but what's most important is the love you're, you're so vibrant, you're very energetic, you're very eloquent and um, during your time in the house, people were even suspecting, you know, anticipating that um, simply might get into issue with a guy, but it never happened. In the house? In the house. Yeah, that's because I'm in a relationship. <laughs> and everybody knows that I made it uh, public earlier this year. Although nobody knows who my twin is. But I made it public even before going into the house. So it was really funny when I came out and a lot of people did expect. 
I would get on with anybody in the house. It, it was funny. Because I went in there with the mentality of winning. I needed that money. <laughs> <laughs> I needed a 60M. No relationship. So everybody went in there for the game. You can't go in there and, uh, and trip or fall in love. It's all money we're there for. Okay, so Ghana, for us, we were super excited because we felt like, you know, we were represented in Big Brother Niger yeah. because of your presence and uh, because of your matrilinear linkage to Ghana. So, um, Ghanaians are madly in love with Tacha and um, that's why this this conversation is going on. They want to know more about you and even when you were evicted, they were, they were, they were sad. I mean, it as if like someone is dead. You can believe it. And I think you saw the emotions when yes, they, they yeah. met you at the airport. Yeah. All right. So um, we'll take a commercial break. When we come back, uh, we'll talk about life after, you know, Big Brother, Big Brother Niger. Niger. <laughs> what has uh, simply up and doing? We've seen her clocking some deals. You know, she tell us more about that. Stay tuned. It was for you and you your bar. Your name simply ever to come out to you. So after Big Brother Niger, and then know oh yeah, what she doing on Kanye Nanche? Stay tuned. Atu say atu. 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 So atu means hugging. So where is atu? Hug atu. All right. Okay, so um, Kain Ketsi, Eurostar Limousine, and your host, Despite Media, we have, you know, drinks, refreshment for you and your crew, even before we get to your hotel. Today is going to be a long day. We have a lot of activities for you, all fun base, and you will enjoy it. So right from the airport, we are on the Liberation Road. This is the longest stretch of road in Accra, the capital of Ghana. As you know, Ghana gained its independence in 1957 from the British colonial masters after unsuccessful attempts to wrestle power from other European powers. We've had the Dutch, the Danes, the Portuguese were the first Europeans to come here in 1421. By 1427-1428, they had built the Elmina Castle and uh, it was supposed to have been a trade depot but they turned, you know, taking our ancestors as slaves and exporting them to overseas, the Caribbean, America, and Europe. Now, this is the seat of president, or our oh, government. Beautiful. This is where our president is. Our president is His Excellency Nana Adudankwa Ekufuado. Uh, his late father was also president um, in the 60s, and uh, he comes from a royal family. So he's been the first president whose father was also a president. So the seat of the president is called Jubilee House. Jubilee House also used to be the office of Ghana's first president, Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. But it wasn't as huge as this. So former president J. A. Kufour, um, in, you know, decided that we will have a historical, a monumental edifice as the seat of government. So let's go back to the first president office, and that is why we have Jubilee this House. yeah Jubilee House. Okay, so the Jubilee was 50 years after Ghana gained independence, which was in 2008, but it was fully occupied in 2013 by the former president um, John Dramani Mahama. So, His Excellency Nana Dodanko Ekufuado is the second president to um, occupy the seat of the president. Like I said, this stretch of road is called the Liberation Road. The Liberation Road takes us to the Independent Square. The Independent Square is the cradle of independence of Ghana. That is the spot action where we got our independence. Three of our ex-servicemen were shot when they were marching to the colonial uh, government to present their petition for uh, promise they gave them when they took them to the Second World War. Unfortunately, one of the uh, British um, police officers instructed them to be killed and it sparked nationalism movement. So this is the road that goes to um, that spot and that is why we call it Liberation Road. 
So we'll get to the Independent Square. You see where Ghana holds its national um, event, where we swear in the president, where we hold our anniversary and all national events. And uh, alongside the Independent Square, you see the mausoleum of our former president, the first president, Kwame Nkrumah, where he was buried his tomb and his um, museum as well. Then we'll go to the seat of the colonial masters, which is the Christopher Castle, where the British occupied as the government of the Gold Coast. You know, we're called Gold Coast until we gained independence in 1957. We changed our name from Gold Coast to Ghana. So that is it. All right, so we have refreshment for you. Um, it's still a chat with Simply Tasha. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Atu! Atu! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Atu! Sleepy! Guys, we're back on. Yes, we're back. We're having fun. This is a limo ride from the airport, Kutuka International Airport, to the Independent Square before we go to Ghana's five star luxurious beach resort, Labadi Beach Hotel. Okay, that is where our, our celebrity, our diva, our queen, our empress, Tacha is staying but let me serve you let me welcome you with some drinks all right dear so let's talk about that is the liberation circle oh. yeah it's, yes it's the second biggest runabout in Accra the capital and this is um, the heroes African Union Park this monument is erected for all the freedom fighters who fought for independence for their country so nigeria is represented south africa kenya zambia tanzania okay we're still heading towards the independence square but let's talk about brand simply tacha everything tacha what is everything tacha you have so many you're a serial entrepreneur you are doing this and that why why can't you focus on just one particular brand uh, and do it i'm focusing on simply toucher everything toucher is an online store so literally we sell everything and we as humans we don't need one thing we need a lot and a lot of things hence why everything toucher online stores out there for your needs so what do you have what what, what do you sell um uh, we sell small toucher activated charcoal teeth whitening uh, we sell power toucher it's a 10,000 mAh power bank we sell pink clip kit by simply toucher we sell um, glow toucher and the last but not the least is simply toucher eyelashes I'm wearing a pair right now so um, your entrepreneurial abilities and skills uh, where did you my mom my mom is so industrious. She does everything. Jack of all trades. Talking about your mom, where in Ghana does your mom hail from? Sunyani City. Sunyani? Oh, okay, okay. Now let me show you. This is the Parliament of Ghana. This is the National Assembly, the legislature. This is where laws are made. Okay? And on my left hand side, this is the independent Accra International Conference Center. This is where we hold most of the big, big events. All the celebrities in the world. This is where um, we hold yeah, we'll our to. event. Yes, yeah. so this is an event center. It's called the Accra International Conference Center. And that is the parliament. Next to the parliament is the state house called the banquet hall. We have a hall that is where, you know, president and, you know, high dignitaries, diplomats, I mean, are hosted for dinner and, you know, a musical concert for the president. If that is the president um, event center. It's called the banquet hall in the state house. Next to it is the parliament house where we make laws. And that is the military cemetery. Uh, this is where the military officers, you know, are buried. Until recently, we've had a second military cemetery close to the airport. So we are not too far from the airport. And this... Uh, 
On my left hand side is the stadium, the Accra Sports Stadium. It also has a history uh, of Ghana's independence, the role that it played. So you can see the military cemetery. Yeah. You can see this is where we hosted the African Cup of Nations 2008 called the Can 208. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So Nigeria was here. Nigeria played to the, I think, quarterfinals. Yes, in 2008. You're still enjoying um, the view. Uh -huh. This is the view of Accra. Okay, if you come to Ghana and you don't touch this building, it means you are not in. Freedom Ghana. and justice. Yeah, so this is actually where the independence of Ghana took place. So it's more or less like the Statue of Liberty in America or the Ife Tower in France. So this is it. So once you're here, it means you are in Ghana. <laughs> Do you speak tree? Madam, I say. That's what I speak. But I really would love to learn how to speak children. I really would love to learn. I just know a few words, Aquaba, welcome. And the one I learned from you today, Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> Can you say that? Can you say that outside here? Yeah. Uh, uh, atu. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so what is your favorite Ghanaian dish? Um, Jollof rice. I have been dying to try it. And everybody says, Tasha, once you get to Ghana, you have to try the Jollof rice. Okay, so you know that there's been making lots there, and lots of stuff. So it's like you know what I need to. That's the first thing I want to try. There has Nothing been else. there has been war between Ghana and Nigeria over jollof. <laughs> we will tell after I taste it. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ebusia for um, your name simply Tasha Effi Airport. You have do independent square. Aha, and uh, you be can Ghana abakwa sem acheno. So we need that, Mister Tourism. I have to show her the rich history and our culture. And she must take something back to Nigeria and let the world know how amazing, how unique Ghana is. And of course, she comes from Ghana. She's partly <laughs> Ghanaian. So I have to show her the history of Ghana. So, um, Yenjin Kato, Yeba, Yedin Komono, So, from the Independent Square of Accra, Ghana. Naya Kwako Checheno, Baby Ewo. Don't forget, Yenfasida Emma, Africa World Airlines, touching Africa. Touching the world. Yeah, fast in the view. So Emma Labadi Beach Hotel, Ghana's only five-star beach resort in Ghana. You can't go wrong with Labadi Beach Hotel. It's one of the oldest beach resorts we have in the country, and it offers platinum five-star superior services. I say yeah, fast in that Emma yeah. Um, Eurostar Limousine, say Oma Boying, and of course, our sponsors, MTN, we dig for you everywhere you go. MTN, your Doma CP, Endpoint Homeopathy Clinic, your Doma C, Malcolm, where Ghana shops, the CD Saver, I feel Enkoma, a year, um. End point homeopathy clinic. I feel savannah pain. We go paint. Uh, we go paint. It gives you a finishing, nice, you no know, brightening light. If you want long lasting quality paint, always look for savannah paint. And I feel so maxim her cosmetics. Yeah, Doma CP. We'll be right back. Atu! Thanks for having me. Thank you. Atu, atu, atu. So we catch you, sir. Simply touch on you. What is a chameleon? What is that one word that that was here? Yeah. Oba ne nimba. Sorry, we. Ne nimba. What is a UTV? Fe 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 fe. What you say? Fabulous, beautiful, intelligent lady. Thank you. Who shook the continent of Africa with her presence at Big Brother Niger. A historic visit to Ghana, year of return. Oh, thanks to His Excellency the President, the Office of the President, the Ministry of Tourism, of course, Ghana Airport Company Limited, Africa World Airlines, Labadi Beach Hotel, and of course, yours truly, Ghana's biggest media empire, <laughs> the biggest, the largest media empire, despite 
media limited and desperate group of companies. We are still hosting our diva, hey. Simply Tasha. <laughs> no leave! No transfer, we uh, pin. Uh, we pin! <laughs> okay, so we are here at the Black Star Square. This is a historic or a heritage site where the whole independence of Ghana took place. And I have our tour guide here to take us through. So let's welcome our tour guide. Hello, sir. Nice good, to meet you, Good, 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 nice good. All right, so on our side. Okay, so introduce yourself to us. All right, my name is Nima Mamakwe, and good to be your tour guide. Okay, uh, great. Yeah, thank great. you. All right, I'm going to enjoy the tour. I will, okay. most definitely. <laughs> All right, so this is the Independence Square. This is where we celebrate our independence every year. Uh, Ghana had its independence in 1957, led by our first president, the Sadiq Mohamed Um So, therefore, since 1957 to date, uh, we've been celebrating the independence here. This compound used to be the empire ground where we celebrate with the British. So now we are no more part of the, the independence of England, but we are now independent Ghana. So now we celebrate independence here. We've had several occasions here as well. In the past, we have students and also security service who march here for the independence and region. And this is a big thing. So for you to be a patriotic Ghanaian, you have to be on this compound to march. So for you to be a patriotic Nigerian and a patriotic Ghanaian, that is why you are here today. Thank you. Thank you. So we have the, that is the perpetual flame pot. Uh, and with the pot, after the president has uh, gone round to inspect the card of parade, he is giving a torch to light our independence torch. So over here, that is what we have. Then we have the senator here as well, like I said, the unknown soldier is on top. But when you look behind it, we have the independence arch with the blaster on top. And this was put up there in 1960 when Ghana gained its republic, led again same by Sanjifo Dr. Kwame We have the black star on top. Why? Because Marcos Garvey from the Caribbean have had the idea of bringing Africans back to the continent. And as a result of that, when we had our independence, Nkuma, I've also read much about Marcos Garvey's idea and philosophies. And he said, okay, to design our Ghana flag, we have the red, the gold, and the green. The yeah. red symbolizes the blood, the yellow symbolizes the gold resources, and the green symbolizes the vegetation. Mm -hmm. And then we put in the black star. And this black star represents the whole black people all over the world. So this year, marking the 400 years of um, Ghanaians or Africans, uh, 400 years of slavery, that is why you also see a lot of African Americans or a lot of Africans on the diaspora are coming back. And yesterday, the president also did a very uh, remarkable thing by giving some African Americans a uh, passport that will make them do our citizenship. So Ghana is doing so well, so the Black Star represents that. Okay. And that is why we have it on top oh, of the epitaph cool. across the street. We might go there and maybe take a photograph. Okay, cool. All right. mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. In, any yeah. question, Thank any you. question, uh, before coming here, perhaps you've heard something about Ghana, our independence, and why Ghana is the tree blazer um, and a gateway to West Africa. Maybe you want to ask any question about independence um, or anything. Absolutely none. He really was clear with the explanations. Thank you. I'd really want to know more, but probably read. Read. To know more. Yeah. Well, so far, so good. Great job. Well, Great apart from job. apart from that. Ghana have also been touted as one of the biggest democratic uh, governance states in, in the continent. So everything will, will tell you that if the blaster is moved out of this place, that means that is the end of Ghana or that is the end of Africa. And also our population is just as equal as Lagos. So if yeah, Lagos. you put the population of Ghana together, it's just the same population in Lagos. Ghana is a very small country, um, but we do great things. Okay, so now um, you have to take photo with this iconic um, structure and the, the cenotaph. Then you do another one with a blaster square, yeah. then we'll go to uh, the, the, independence, the arch. independence arch. If you don't touch this building, then <laughs> it means you didn't come to Ghana. Didn't come to Ghana. Ghana. So at this point, I would like to say that Atu again to Ghana, welcome to Ghana, as we say in different languages, Akwaba, Atu, and Wezolo. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Atu! <laughs> it's been a super amazing, fantastic, and a fabulous day. And then, hey, that's from Kuma Masokra. I want say, Atu, there. We do all. Atu, we they come true. UTV, it be the new school. Atu, we they come true. Ah, UTV, it is, eh, it is. Ah, eh. I was a 
and uh, yeah, and simply touch her and come to Chiro. A far edica in him, a Nifi airport, a Dabba, a independent square, a uh, black star square, a fair Chiri Ghana, a fair party in the Bacoso. I feel you have a call radio so near country train come up. I feel that you know the vibe it has here. We have a debt, we have a fair, we have a jet. My emphasis that my despite group of companies, the patch peace 104.3, hello 101.5, okay 101.7, neat 100.9, and of course, say yeah, you TV, it's all about you and uh, your group of companies in you know, Say Omaso Emuna, it is a historic um, visit of Simply Touch, a big brother Naija, a year housemate, or GD, one was so no, yeah, they a bremo. I said, I'm young, comma, MTN, we dare for you everywhere you go. Ope, Ghana Network, papa, pa, which we are called Coheavia, and one is MTN. I say, M, comma, Malcolm, where Ghana shops. Baby, I've been here, my papa, and we full from furniture to clothing to cosmetics to food to all household items and office words. And one, Malcolm, the CD saver. Ya are titting your mask with Tibra Malcolm, never turn your mask. And come on, a year. Endpoint homeopathy clinic. San Kaye Nyawa Kaya. Yadi Ayo, Yadi Ayo, Oh, Yadi Aya, sir. Ah, Tuanamona Bra, a year endpoint homeopathy clinic. Na Yen Sao Yadi, Nyon Tu Yadiano, in free hall, and Fama. A fe and comma, Maxim her product, Maxim Cosmetics. Sa wa di a team yun kuwa, a mawa ba team yun, a ya sochi, naha naha, a bugu de corner, and ya se tarach yadi. And comma, Maxim Fosso, Yadom yeah, Masipi, and a Savada paint. We go paint, we go paint, we go paint some. Ha! Ope paint at bright in there, Fedia, and one Savana paint. I said, I'm young, comma, Africa World Airlines, and that. Africa World Airlines, only competitor, <laughs> no challenger. Who pay we must share? You do free Ghana. I record other African countries. I want Ghana. Hey Ghana for there. Hey A W A. Africa World Airlines. Touching Africa, touching the world. I feel yeah that Labadi Beach Hotel for so I say. Hero Star Limousine for so yeah that of us say. Me ring at the Abeku Agri Santana. Mummy and Na yamfa e fa e tosi mi enu embra o e ho e na simply touch a e be ba be shia me e wo me office na se mi tim studio me twa me seven boga e ma right challenge hu me ne se ame me ya ga inti awo na me we go die because ame me nya sla Oh, I made sure, right? Because we do on top. I be the big boss. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, the say she up at Waiye OKFM Studios. Simply touch her. No leave, no touch her. <laughs> so what I say? The titans is what we go and we just say easy. It's easy. That must say. Mungkoswa na moshe UTV. It's all about you. Atu. Seven of them, we have chain and we are live from Achimota Retail Center. I will be a friend at Chimota Mall now. And there a special day, and there I had the last Black Friday in the month of November. Watch now, November, but we are here. We patch out because you are the pet now. You are December, December. So we'll be able to say, No, I'm not going to be Okay, 101.7 FM, and we a special day at my end because despite group of companies, despite media, a uh, peace 104.3 UTV, a uh, hello FM 101.5, a uh, Okumasi, neat 100.9 FM, our uh, crap, and a uh, uh, okay 101.7, any uh, peace FM online. Yay, and it despite media, arguably the biggest media empire in Ghana. 20 years in here, ah, Peace FM, a buyer, and our radio stations be bring. Yeah, yeah, papa, Dr. Osekwa, me despite, I say. I feel as if you come Dr. Father Dixon now, Dr. Ernest Oforisa Paul, your general manager, Ura Kennedy, or say, and then you may it's produced by our programs director. Mr. Roger Corte, 
with the support from our regular producers, Alhaji DJ Yellowman, Godwin Dogbe, Mrs. Edufa Minta, and Afe, the award winning DJ, DJ Fletch. Technical production. And come out, eh, our IT manager, eh, Daniel in charge. Nana Abuaje, Ewaha. You may be a cost of any answer, ye cha, and they are by you TV so. And you are won by TV so, Dano, and there's a song by TV so. Because you put the Obey, I say, no one by TV so. Who now could you and your cook when him? No, we say, who could we are say, and then I'll quay, yeah. And so to us, I ran it, my shake, grandpa, me by TV so. So one my TV so, if we are saying one by one TV so now, now who could do a judgment day? We are saying who could we are saying then I hear ya. So I run this a man here. Come on, my TV so, my TV so, my TV fi anka TV a man me check. My two anamo, my Barbara, my Adiye, my Premier. I must have four. And then, and then Eda, Yesha Mubose. Yeah, the a uh, yeah, big brother Niger superstar. Ah, will be here to see a friend. Simply Tasha. Yeah, the name uh, about Ghana. Now, what about do? What do I know? Pano. Yeah, the name Chia. Simply Tasha. Eh, Chebiya. What about her? Now, a yeah, your divas. Make a divas. Emma and a Tewa. Omanuati. Omo who a fair. Omo ni mnyansa. Momo musema. Watch it now, Simon. Forget the hashtag OK101.7 okay, FM despite media. D E S P I T E M E D I A. We are live on all the social media channels. Here we are. We have Ghana's favorite, the number one entertainer, celebrity influencer, the only boss with one S, Calibos in the building. All right, where are my divas, please? Quick, 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 please. All right, so you can chuck around, grab a microphone. We're going to have a chat. Yeah, have a better drink, come on. All right. Our celebrity influencers. Okay, please, we are on radio, and we expect you to know that. Yeah, we're radio, so says here. You better Achimota Mall, and I say Achimota Retail Center. You better Omasi. Say, Omaye, Sa Adoye, Na Yabaha. On the 26th of December, OKFM had the biggest event ever. Pamcho Muntie, Muntie, 26th December. There's no event in Accra. I know there are lots of questions they want to ask you, but they can't. So we're going to ask on behalf of them, right? Yes, yes, yes. So let me start with life after Big Brother. From your eviction, life after that, like, how has it been for you? It's been amazing, and especially with the Titans, you all are amazing, incredible. Oh my God, the love is crazy. Sometimes I just stay at home, and when I get to see this love on Twitter, Instagram, and meeting you people face to face, I just tear up. Like, what did I do to deserve all of this love? It's it's crazy. Thank you so much, Medase. Thank you. <laughs> so it's been amazing so far. It has. My co-host and I would like to ask you some questions. So this Tasha. is Andy Kamel. My name is Andy Kamel. No. Um, 
Nacha, you are welcome to Ghana. And as you can you. see, the love in Ghana, I must say, in fact, I think we are even over overtaking Nigerians now. <laughs> Trust me. No, Tasha, we all know you to be simply Tasha. What is your real name? Natasha, Anita, Ibinabo, Akide. <laughs> Why is it your name? Why yeah, is it your name? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tasha, um, we heard you are a Ghanaian. How true is it? My mom is Ghanaian, actually. Your mom is Ghanaian? Yeah, and my dad Nigerian, so I'm half Ghanaian. Wow. Yeah. Ah, wait, you are half Ghanaian. Yes. <laughs> Did you all know that Tasha is half Ghanaian? Yes. So you can speak so a little cheese. Ghanaian, what tribe do you think Tasha will be? <laughs> Obwa. Okay. What tribe? What tribe? Okay, everyone. Tasha, to me, told him. to me, I think you are a guy living in Nima. Well, I... Oh. See. Behavior, she's a simply gun. And the, by the way, guns are the people who come from Accra. Okay. Okay. If, you to be, if you are to be a gun living in Nima, Nima is like worry. So Nima is like the annex of worry. Oh, Nima is not like worry. Yeah. Nima is not like worry. Bro, you question. Why are you going to answer the question? Why are you going to answer the question? So do you, know, do, you know, do you know how to, like, do you, do you know any Ghanaian language? Like, can you speak a little? I know a few words. Okay, can you give us some? It's welcome. I know Medase means thank you. I know, um, I know Ghana Magina, a Yumunieba, simply Tasha. So, yeah, just a few words, but it would be great to learn Chore. Like, it would be great. Y'all yeah, should teach me, please. <laughs> teach me. <laughs> Talk say they do runs, they don't know what thing you they do. You just do on Instagram, just they show body. People really want to know exactly what thing you they do before you enter the house. Are they airports? Serial entrepreneur. Serial That be what that they do. Okay. <laughs> now with the everything touch us, so we just say they sell lash, you they sell uh, how you call it waist trainer, power they sell power tasha, they sell one of the Now, what it can be your main aim when they enter the house that time? To win the money, I was there to win. And you just say, what thing happened for Big Brother House? As in, what thing Lombo do? Say, she just decided to fling. <laughs> and <laughs> at the end of the day, what thing I hear be say, Tacha, Tacha can't say, yes, Big Brother, you have been disqualified. When I think the thing, I can look and say, come, 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 was this fair? I beg. Today, so I want me you tell us exactly how you feel. Not be what they do based on media. Oh. Open up, eh? May you flow the level as it day, one on one. No faking for Ghana. I beg. Tell them. Now, how's your day? Tell them. Tell us how we feel. Well, first off, biggest house, biggest rules. Nine house, so anything you want to go to, you understand. Me, I be guest for biggest house. You get my point. But um, everything happened, we happened. You get my point. So far, so good. The journey, don't they great. The platform I wanted, I don't get that. And I have the strongest fan base in the world, Titan. What more can I ask for? Nothing. Okay, so talking about Big Brother. So the whole thing with you and Messi, is it? It's like every, after every competition, like somebody must have an enemy. Is it just publicity stance or is actually like real, real fights? Like y'all don't see eye to eye. Okay, um, um, Tasha, I think Titans don't want you to answer the question, so we'll skip it. We'll skip it. So, let, so, so let's go straight to the point, please. Tasha, which part of Ghana um, is your mom coming from? Sundani. Sundani. Sunyane, actually. Sunyane. Sunyane, yeah. So you are a Buno? Yes. Yeah. You are from the BA, the Bronga Hafu region? No, I don't know. I just know Sudani. Okay. And that's why I'm here in Ghana. One of the reasons why I'm here, I'm going home. So you, so you are going to visit them there? Yes, I will. Uh, so are you in my contact with late, your... So I'm going to visit without my mom. Oh, okay. Just So your mom is late? Yeah, my mom is late. Oh, okay. And where's your dad now? Nigeria. Okay. So um, do you have contact with your families there as you are going to visit them? No, I don't. So how are you going to locate them when you get there? I just will. Will yes, I just will. Okay, and okay. I make her ask my question now. Uh, even I say simply Tasha, 
<laughs> your first controversy, the first fight you had for the house. Yeah. You and Tema go fight on small fish. Fish. Fish to ah why? Was it really necessary for you to fight over fish? And nam kitwe binamoko. My boss, no pepper them season now. Wait till you. So you the pepper them. Wait till you the pepper. We needed to pepper you people. Pepper the housemates join. <laughs> Tacha, Tacha, I first saw your um you uh, as in I saw you Tacha on Cutie Joe's post. Okay, just so I saw her post. Yes, no, she posted a lot. Thing. Yes. So now. Um, you are in Ghana now. You've seen the reception. Yeah. Do you have? Do you intend relocating to Ghana anytime soon? Um, I always said in the house that I would be shuffling. Yes, yes, yes. Lagos, Ghana, yes, yes. every day. I said it. Anybody asks me, I'm like Ghana, Lagos, Port Harcourt City. Ghana be my home. Ghana be motherland. So yeah. Oh, nice. So if Ghana be your home, home, will you marry a Ghanaian? Yeah. Is it your husband? Yeah. Let it answer. Your husband? Would you like to marry a Ghanaian? Because we've we've already started trading boundaries. Because we have one of the most, you know, renowned musician, Becca. She married one of you from Nigeria. Would you like to marry a Ghanaian? If yes, let me give you an option. There's a guy called Calibos. So would you like?